So we are preparing to give Q his meds and his subcutaneous fluids. He has diarrhea so we need to give him sub-Q fluids for him to get rehydrated again. He has some tummy issues so of course we have the probiotics and we have the gas drops. These two are vitamin supplements and we have the dextrose to help with his energy consumption. This is Aurebiotic. This is an antibacterial cream. Hey, Bean, come on. And this is the syringe we use to give the sub fluids. This is lactated ringworm solution or LRS. We keep it re uh, sorry, we keep it uh, refrigerated so that it's preserved. But we usually use this bottle and uh, IV tubes to give fluids for bigger animals like rabbits. But since um, hedgehogs are really small, we just need this a 10 cc. Uh, this is a 10 cc syringe. Every time we give him a uh, dose of the sub fluids, we have to uh, change the needle. So this is the needle. We have to change it every time to avoid any infection. So this is little Q, we're giving him his vitamins. Mm. And this is his food. Good boy. More? No more? Come on, last one, last one, last one, last one. So usually one cc is equivalent for one hour. Right. So we just gave Q a bath and we need to treat his belly and his genitals because he's been having diarrhea and who is getting urine scald. So. The area was still really cleaned and now we're putting some I mean 
internet. Alfred. So we're giving Q subcutaneous fluids. As I said earlier, the needle has to be new to avoid infection. Try to restrict movement. Oh, burrito. And then make a tent at the back. Come on, baby. Usually this is easier when you have the help of another person to restrain the hedgehog. So Q is one of our huffiest. Come on baby, relax, 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 relax. Insert the needle. Come on. Shh. And we're done. So this is cuddle time after the subkey fluids. So just a few more reminders when you give subcutaneous fluids. Make sure you always warm up the LRS the LRS fluids. It shouldn't be too hot, but it should also be warm enough so that their body doesn't have to warm the fluids for you. Make sure that the needle is inserted just under the skin and not through the muscles. If you feel like there is resistance when you press on the plunger, then probably you are not deep enough or too deep. If you press the plunger and you see fluids coming out, it might be, it might be that the needle is too shallow or that it went through the skin to the other side. Again, make sure that your needles are clean and your syringe is sterilized. Make sure that you have the correct dosage when you give subcutaneous fluids, so always ask your vet. Also, after the subkey fluids, they may feel uncomfortable, so don't be surprised if they are grumpy. You would also see a bump on their back where the fluids uh, entered their body. So that's it. Say bye, you. Bye everyone! Bye bye!